Generic greetings, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. It's been quite some time since I've done anything other than standalone videos for this, where I take your feedback, suggestions, and ideas, and try to implement them, sometimes successfully, sometimes not, into the game. But it's been interesting nonetheless, but I've been wanting and indeed threatening to do a series, or another series, for quite some time, and that's why we are here. We're going to be doing a full series on airships, we're going to do a conquest mode. The idea is simple, I will still take your suggestions, feedback, and ideas, and hopefully implement them into the game successfully and then we take over the map or I could make crap designs and then fail in episode one but we'll see how it goes this is version 9.0.3 just for note let's crack on go to conquest and new game we will need to create our uh, faction slash nation slash home city type thing uh, generican is what we go for. Generic cans is what we used to pick, but with generic can is uh, easier. And we'll go for, well, you need to pick a coat of arms. You can say random armed and it changes all the colour and stuff, but I think we'll edit that. We'll go for, you've got things like the uh, the boar's head, which is 30% uh, HP from tracked land ships. We don't really want that, but we will go for some colour changing here and that and that. Uh, we've got a gear, which is pretty cool. We've got harpoon, which gives you harpoon guns. Uh, we just want a standard one of those. Did I actually do want that, or do you want like a, a line or anything? No, we'll have that. That's fine. And scales, my favourite, uh, only because of what it affords you, is the aerial torpedo, which is, yeah, that's pretty cool. You've got other things like the anchor and the uh, the annulet. I've actually realised anchor. We don't have any ship ships in the game. We have airships and we have land ships. We don't have any, like, on the water boaty type ships, which, I don't know, maybe we'll get that in the future. Who knows? It just means that, like, they'll be able to only go on a, a bit of land. No. They'll only be able to go on the water unless you actually make spiders' legs come off them and then walk onto the land like uh, them destroyers from uh, the Cybrin and Supreme Commander. That would be cool. Anyway, let us go with probably yeah. We're going to go with the scales because it um it, it's because of what it affords us really. It gives you fifteen percent income from cities, so it means that we're not tied to any particular build or way of doing things because of uh, the technology or whatever that we've unlocked. It's just we can build whatever we want, whatever we've taken over, and then uh, hopefully build it uh, quite quickly because we've got you know extra income. Large map with a medium difficulty, and we will start the game now. As I said, the objective is to make interesting designs and see how it goes. But I guess if we need an overall end game state, it would be to conquer the entire map. However, this is pretty much as is. So if we get sledged in the first couple of minutes, then uh, tough. We'll just start again or something. But uh, yeah, we might be right in the center of the map and be absolutely screwed. It's going to generate the map randomly. And that's exactly what's happened. We are right in the center of the map, which is not good. I would have It would be nice to start on an island, but alas. So we are right in the center, which is just terrible. We've got the uh, the Fjorden, or on the left-hand side, looks like they've got some sort of land ship there. And then down the bottom, we've got the Kudair, and then next to them, we've got the Catwick. They look the same, but they're not. This one's a dragon, I believe, and that one is some sort of stag that has been hit by an 18-wheeler and is flying through the air. We've got, um, we've got like, a, a, a the flag that's been put on its side. This is the... Uh, Crawl Anton or something. Uh, they've got brigands near them, which, as you can see, group of uh, brigands, criminals, deserters, and Malcolm Tents are hiding here, preying on the local people. How dare they? We've also got a mad scientist, which I've never seen before. A crazed inventor has set up shop here. Her robotic crazed creations roam the countryside, menacing the townsfolk. That's a new thing. This is why I wanted to wait for version uh, 9, uh, because you get these interesting little things. You've got pirates up there, you've got pirates over there, pirates there. It's very piratey. Uh, pirates there. Looks like there's a nest that was there, but it doesn't look like it's uh, uh, legit. It's not actually working. We do have a giant spiders on this side, though. There you go. I do like this art. It's very nice. Um, and we don't have, as far as I can tell, more giant spiders there. Giant spiders there, right next to me. I'm going to have to sledge them very early on because, as you can see, it's minus 10% city income. As far as I can tell, the uh, we don't we don't actually have um, any dragons around the place. I don't know if any can spawn, but either way. Our objective is to get them spiders down straight away. So, we really need to see what these guys do to each other. If one of these... I'm, I'm hoping these stay as is and not end up, like, sledging each other very early on and turn into one big nation, because if that happens, I've got an entire southern border to defend. Luckily, I've got nothing that can be... Uh, they can't attack me from the sea with, uh, with the, the, on the land, because they'll have the ports... The closest ports are there and there, so... And then, obviously, they'll have to go through this. But does, these guys can head towards me, so... We'll just have to see how this goes. What I'm going to do is go to my city and say design ship. And what I want to do 
is make a, I want to make something a bit like this. And we'll go to open design, I'll show you what I have in mind. So we'll go for one of the best things I think we've made in the game, which is the Zeppington. There we go. And this is a very, very good vessel. It's not very fast, but it's a very, very high level Zeppelin that absolutely ruins people with bombs. Now, to kill spiders, I think that's probably the best way of going about it. But I don't want something that big. I want something that's probably only a couple of bombs long. And, uh something that goes up quite high. So we could also go for like a vertical turret as well, or maybe a vertical turret with bombs either side. We've never tried that before. That might be an interesting one. At least it makes it different, doesn't it? So let's try that. We'll have that, and then we'll go for a bomb bay, which can't go there, but it has to go either side like so. But that should be about right. Or do we want to have this so we have the bombs further back? Yeah, I think that makes a bit more sense. And then we will have, um, if we go over to, we'll minimize the weapons here, then we'll go to basic and ammo store. Now we want to put an ammo store near these things here. Now I'm, I'm going to be very cautious because I don't want to overdo this in terms of the, in terms of the armor and indeed in terms of its, I guess, what's the best term? I don't want to overdo it in terms of extra modules and extra walkways and fire doors. This is going to have almost no defense whatsoever. If it gets shot at, it falls out the sky. If it gets boarded, it gets taken over. If it gets um, even clipped, Somehow, by something ramming into it, it'll explode. I don't care about any of that. I do care, but I, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm just. I'm making note that my objective is to make it as light and as small as possible, with the bare minimum of expenditure, and get as many as I can. That's what I'm going to try and do. Might not be the best way of doing things, but it's a decision, and I've made it. So let's crack on. So we will have... Uh, won't need a massive coal store. We'll probably go with a couple of small coal stores. Actually, mm, I don't know, because we want to get this very high level. So we'll probably go for probably lift first, and a large suspendium chamber would not be very good. That was 600 and <laughs> 653 meters. Perhaps it's a little bit too high. Uh, maybe one of those suspendium chambers. That would be uh, 274 meters. So that would be more than sufficient. However, a small one would give us 147, but accounting for the other stuff we're going to put on, that'll be to about 80, so no. We are going to go with the standard suspendium chamber. I'm going to put it there, and actually, yeah, no, I don't need to put it there. I can just put it right there, right underneath the bomb bays, which is very, very, very risky, but we'll see how this goes. And we'll go over to Coal Star, which we'll put there, and that should keep us uh, 262 in the air. That's fine. We will then have a... So we don't... We I would like a fire point, but mm, probably not. Probably not. We'll go for a standard sail on the back, like so. We're not going to have anything... Uh, do we have a small sail? There's a sail, small propeller, small propeller, propeller, small, mm, large propeller. That's the massive, yeah, that's the big honking one. We'll go for a sail on the back. There we are. And then we do need, well, we haven't got supply hatches. Uh, we've got no crew. No commands can be given to the ship. So we do need crew. Uh, recommended crew is 20. But if we go over to our commanding crew, put a bridge on. We'll see that goes up to 23. Do I need a bridge? I don't think so. I think a cockpit would probably do the job. I'll put a cockpit on there. Um, a crow's nest is... <clears throat> increase accuracy by 10%. Is that a good idea, putting that on there? I don't really know. It's an interesting one. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind one on here, but we'll see how it goes. We'll put that there, and then we'll go to quarters, and then bosh bosh, and that should be about right. So, recommended crew 22, air sail is 24. That's absolutely bang on, actually. Absolutely dead on. So, we'll remove that, and I would like to put this on here, the crow's nest, but I don't really need it, in all honesty. We'll pull that back in there, and then we will put... A crow's nest in just because I like the idea of one go over to basic go over to the corridor put a corridor there then we need some supply hatches which will be in resources supply hatch one that's all we need we just need the one then we can put it at the back there then oh we can't because it's not actually connected up okay so there right so that is our vessel. Service ceiling, 161 meters. We are going to improve that somewhat by going over to lift and to a large suspendium. Ah, crap, look, you can't have this. 
above there because of the uh, the crow's nest. So we'll remove the crow's nest entirely. We don't need it. It was just a, a random idea that I had and didn't work out. That's okay. But we'll put this here and obviously it's not connected up but we do need to fix that by going to structural, strut, put a strut in there and then a strut in there. And that is our vessel. So, it's... A uh, 305 meters. We'll go for armor, and that is just standard. It's actually wooden armor, so it's quite high up. This thing. What if we put steel armor on it? Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It um, it does make it. It well, it halves the service ceiling, and also makes it 200 odd generic credits higher, which is something we do not want. So decoration, we'll put a medium coat of arms on it. Actually, we'll put a small coat of arms like so. That'll be about right. A wooden nameplate. About there. And we will need to rename this thing. So it's the GAV. A generic airborne vessel, generic airship vessel, whatever. And it's the... It's the Mini Zep Inkton. Because for some reason, that's the really, really strange and indeed annoying uh, naming convention we have set upon. So, there we go. We'll have a quick look at the overlays. So, hit points. Yep, if that gets hit, it will blow up, which is why I've put it further up. You can put pressurized suspendium tanks on this thing. <laughs> Risky. Uh, water, none. Repair tools, none. Ammunition, good. Coal, good. Explosion damage, yeah, yes, if this thing gets hit, it will destroy everything. Look, that's why I put these struts on here, by the way, so if that blows up, it's only going to take the struts off. I could put it one further down, but, you know, that's fine. So, yeah, we just, we, we can't get hit. That's the, that's the idea, that we cannot get hit. So, save the design, Mini Zeppington, save, build. Okay, and okay, we will build that away. And we'll have one of them. And actually, we'll probably go for probably two or three in one go and then send off towards the giant spiders and then that will increase our income. So, obviously, we've unpaused it and we'll see what happens. Looks like the uh, Narl... The Narlikan has attacked and indeed taken over Sigun. So, there we go. We've had a raid here that's uh, been defeated. The brigands raided that. They're now swapping stuff around. Oh, look, there's the mad scientist that's just attacked and this guy's uh, attacking from the... Very, very, very good defensible island there. So, stuff's moving around, as you can see. I'm going to pause it a second here while I just go to build ship. And, again, we'll go for the mini Zeppington. And we will build that again. So, on a couple of those. Uh, we've got, what's that, pirates here. We've got some pirates going down to Catwick. And that's been attacked. And, boom, they've been rebe uh, repelled. That's fine. Lots of these uh, pirates attacking. It's attacking over here. And, ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. So, Pale and the Fjorden is now under the banner of the same person. Hopefully, they'll attack from this side. We'll see. There's my other Zep. We'll go for Build Chip once more and have one of them. There we are. And then, uh, an enemy has sabotaged construction of the Zeppington in Generican. Sabotage construction, so we're on high alert now. So, essentially, someone tried to destroy it. They didn't manage to do it, or they might have... Uh, we actually, did they destroy it? That's the question. Did, did they destroy... No, they haven't. They haven't managed to destroy it. But we've got two, and it's slowed it down. So anyway, there's our three Zeppelins. One, two, three, and we'll say attack, and I will unpause it for a second. But I just need to check that. Uh, yep, it did do the random thing that it does all the time. Move back to there. Right, I want, I want that to stay. I want the rest to attack. Yes, so the Goran is staying back and I'm attacking with these things I've just made to what I'm going towards the giant spiders. We will have to build a defenses at some point and if we go to build building we've got three things. We've got the black citadel, very basic one, the big def which doesn't work because it was the old version, uh, cubington and the omnom nom which was far too uh, silly for its own good but actually work quite well which is why I like this game because you can make anything you want even if it's silly you know what if it works then you just laugh your ass off and you know fun times so hmm. uh, today's beverage is a cup of tea by the way we're going to move these up top now my worry is if the spiders get their um, fire fire off their like 
webs and pull me down because if these get boarded I am screwed and I don't think these have the, sus the, the, the suspendium to keep themselves up. Uh, we're at night time which is quite bad. It is darkness reduces the accuracy of all weapons so hopefully that means well I'm, I'm going for a more of a carpet bomb approach at night. So accuracy historically is not being good. <laughs> you know I think a direct hit I think it was like World War II, direct hit um, from a bomber would be classed as anything within like a mile or something of its target, or maybe even five miles. It depends what part of the war it was, but it was something stupid. Either way, if I even hit this target, it'll be very, very good. Right, we'll start. Here we are. So no target available straight away. We'll just go to move, and we'll tell them go to. We'll tell them to go right underneath the spider and unpause it. And as you can see, they'll move forward. Now there's the uh, grappler, uh, grappler, which uh, did fire. It did fire at me. There you go, it's firing again, and it has actually grappled onto one. This is bad. It's pulling it down. What you can see is happening here is it's got loads of little spiders on this back, by the way. That'll, that They're their boarding things. Um, my dorsal gun on the front is actually... Uh, the dorsal cannon, rather, that's mounted near the front, is actually doing quite well. It's firing away there, but this is getting close. I'm hoping it doesn't pull me down too much. I am waiting for it to come back, and I want to say ram up to there, and it will use all of its power to go back up, but it's getting too close. I am bombing it, however, and they're trying to get close. Oh, it's not good. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, they've got me. They've definitely got me. Right, let's just move these and say go to there. So what's happened here, as you can see, is the uh, the spider has managed to grab onto me, and this is now leaking suspendium. We've got a lot of mini spiders, or the baby spiders on the bottom, that are they're probably about to board me. We'll be able to see them get bored. There we go, the boarding, and oh! Right, we actually defeated them. We actually defeated them because the spider kept pulling it into itself and destroyed itself. So that's victory. You defeated the giant spiders and burnt out the last of their brood. These lands are safe again. The local townsfolk offer what savings they have to thank you and help maintain the strength of the Empire's fleet. If that's plus 500. And we have to consider we've now got the... Uh, we've got plus 15 for our flag, minus 10%. Because of that, and now we're on. Now we've cancelled that off, so we're going to be making even more money, which is fantastic. So we don't need to repair these. We don't need to do it much more than that. But I do want to go to defences, and I do want to build a building. It will be the Black Citadel, which I know is the small one, but it doesn't matter. It's just having something here. I think is quite important, and then we'll uh, leave that there. So, build that up. What do we do now? The question is, are these attacking over that side? Uh, they're fighting their own little war over there. Looks like this guy on the island, not really surprising, well, very unsurprisingly, actually, has taken all this over because he's got a pretty much a, a huge advantage. You've got a huge advantage in, in Dagger Guild. You know, he's on an island. So you can't attack via, via the sea with land ships and stuff because you need to control the port. So you can only attack him with airships, and it's quite a ways anywhere. So you can see him coming. So, he's taken over one, two, three, four. This guy's taken over the three, but hopefully he will be able to keep fighting because I'm getting sort of stuck in here. What I probably want to do eventually is just actually take this island over. Take the island over, maybe even lose generic, and I don't really care too much about that one. Well, I do, but I want to take over a nice defensible position. But anyway, unpause it. We'll crap, uh, keep building this. I'm just going to see how this um, goes on. We gonna send a spy to Kuder, infiltrate the city, and we'll see what it's got. It has view city. No, oh no, it's got a little bit of a defense, and it has. Looks like that's a dorsal cannon with three cannons, four, three aft, and then yeah, that's a dorsal cannon. So actually, taking that over wouldn't be too difficult for my fleet because I'm very high level bombing runs, and if it can only shoot me a little bit, then I'm not too worried. Okay. We're still on plus 24 credits. We could change that by changing our um, secret police to none. But I think we're currently on lax and I think that will do. What we might do then is invade and we'll see what happens. Oh, he's sending bombers back. Now, I don't know what he has. So I'm going to, act I'm going to actually see. I'm going to see because if I'm high, more high, if I'm higher level than him... I should be okay. 
That looks like some small... I hope they're not flamers. I have a bad feeling that might be a flamer. But you know what? What we'll do, we'll put these in here. And as soon as we start, we will go up. And we'll say move. And remember, my service ceiling should be really high. So there we go. Straight up. And actually... <laughs> Straight away, what I did was fire them dorsal guns, and look at that. They took the, the main gun out anyway, so that's fine. Excellent. So there's only that thing there. Um, I'm firing away. Obviously, I'm getting shot back as well. You can see the shots are coming in. We knew we were going to take some sort of shot. There's my shots whizzing out to him. Soon as I have command, which this is the disadvantage of using a... Oh, where is his vessel? I think it's there. This is the disadvantage of using a... Oh, I think that's on fire, that. Oh, yeah, that's definitely burning. That is essentially a bit of floating cloud, and yeah, it's about to explode. No, it's not about to explode, but it's not going to land very nicely. Oh, no, the tree softened its blow. There we go. <laughs> Fine. Yeah. The disadvantage of using the... Um, of getting rid of the bridge and instead using the... Oh, God, the suspendium's been hit. Ooh, that's coming very far down, isn't it? Look at that. It's the momentum that carries it down, you see, and then it'll slowly go back up as essentially we turn on the suspendium and go, yeah, get it, get it across. Yeah, if I... The, the giving commands... With a, with what I've got now, uh, it's not it's not a bridge. It's the, uh, is it a cabin or something? Not a cabin. Whatever it is, the the other thing, the small one. It means you have very delayed orders, which is never great. But either way, what I'm doing is down, starting high level bombing. And you can see these ones are very 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 far up, and we're firing this. This dorsal gun is a great addition. Very, really happy with that actually. And we are managing to bomb away there. What I will do is change these to... They're on normal fire. We could change it to rapid fire. Current uh, call is on 27 to 32. Ammo is 49 of 80. It's actually slowly going down. So I'm going to go to aimed fire, even though we're obviously we're on bombers here. But I think it's important that we don't run out of ammo because this is essentially a win. This is essentially a win. Um, but we need to make sure that we don't run out of ammo. Because if we run out of ammo, then... That's not us. That's defeated. There we go. That's a win. Excellent. So we've managed to take this over. Oh, good grief. That's really going up. And there we go. Victory. So we destroyed both of those. We will go for a gentle takeover. And, um... Oh, crap. We've got an alliance going on. Uh, Kranzberg and Corder have joined in an alliance. These two. Well, that's interesting. Mainly because I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Um, what I'm going to have to do then is probably build up my fleet again. Design, uh, probably build ship, mini Zeppington. Because these things work. And... Take out him. Get that gone. This guy. This guy here. As you can see, he's not attacking me. He's attacking him. This is good. Because if he takes... Because uh, if he takes that over, it means I don't have to worry about him. But it depends. Will he, will he continue go? Will he attack Kudair? But I do want to take over uh, Catwick, which for some reason has now instantly changed. The symbol has changed. Has there been a takeover there? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Either way, I'm going to go here. Move the new vessel over. It's not very fast, as you can see. It takes some time. But once it gets there, we're okay. And as soon as I invade, I bet you I get attacked. Oh, no. Nope, but they are sending more stuff towards me. Um, if I can take over this city, I'm not really too bothered. Right, so it's at night. Again, they have a couple of defenses. They have, uh, worryingly, two flak guns. Now, that is going to be the bane of my existence on this one. So we'll move these to there. And move that to there, just below them. What we need really is a tight grouping rather than anything else. We'll start this, and here we go. Pause that, we'll say move. And they need to move to, I'd say, there. Get high up and go. Look, there's a lot of... Oh, they've got DACA guns as well. Look at that. All the guns on the front, they've got mini guns. So I need to get above that as fast as possible. It didn't work out, though, because I've just lost three suspendium chambers. Oh, my good grief. Um, yeah, flee. Right, yeah, we can't, we cannot stop that. All of that DACA took me right out. Whoa, what happened there? The stuff was coming towards me and then it stopped. Have they been defeated? Or have they, oh, they formed an alliance. Okay. 
This is getting a bit worrying. Let's repair some of these ones here. We need to get all these repaired. Repair. And that'll do us. Right, so this is problematic. Um, We've got a massive alliance up the left-hand side here. And me in the middle with this guy at the bottom. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't think I can attack that again because I will essentially bring down the wrath from these guys. Ooh, I don't know what to do with that. And we've got a mad scientist there as well. Was that, were, they, were they always there? I know there was one of there. I just didn't spot that one there. Spiders, mad scientist, another one. No dragons, but, you know, there we are. Right, I think we will leave it there because I'm not really too sure what to do. I'm going to have to have a think about this one. We could uh, go for a little bit of uh, the old defense and see where these guys attack. But I'm worried that what will happen is that these four will essentially wipe out the rest down the bottom. And then I'll be, I'll have my entire western edge assaulted by them. Plus the southern by... by you know, this guy as well. The stripey guy. Huh. I don't know. And I've also, they're also in this corner here, so they can happily use the boat lanes and transfer stuff there. So, yeah. War on two fronts, not good. War on three fronts, total suicide. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Next episode might be the last of this series. <laughs> By the way, it's going. Oh, dear, oh, dear. But... Every cloud and all that, this design, the Mini Zeppington, I think is one of the best designs we've uh, implemented. It's cheap, it's fairly decent in terms of its uh, capabilities, because it's got uh, not just the bombers, the three bombers, but also the uh, that cannon on the bottom means we can fire while going towards something and back as well. So I think it's I think it's just generally a good design. I think it works out. Only problem is, as you've seen, if it gets hit very early on, it does lose that suspendium tank, which means it falls right down before the suspendium chamber kicks in, and then you have to go back up, and then, yeah, it just it's bad that way. You really need to start higher. So we'll see how it goes. We might have to make some changes to it. Might just forget about it and start thinking about what we're versing. And, uh, well, we know that there's got a lot of miniguns there, so maybe a heavily armoured tank would probably be the best solution. But, as always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings. <laughs>